Guy Eastman here. I'm hunting antelope in Montana. You know, one of the techniques we like to use here is, is kind of inventory what we have, because you don't know from year to year, antelope are really, you know, they go up and down, fluctuate. The cycles are, are huge and fast with antelope, and so you don't really know what you have. So Rod and I have two tags, so what we're doing is just kind of cruising through this country and glassing everything over and kind of inventorying what's out here and you know, see what we got, see how big the bucks are and kind of put a hit list together and anytime you can come in here and get your first and second or first, second or first and third, you know, top bucks out of here, that you're doing pretty good. So we're trying to just kind of get a feel for what the, the size of the bucks are out here and try to put a hit list together of the top two bucks that we want to try to come in and take. We've seen some pretty good ones, haven't we, Rod? It looks like it's been a pretty good year out here. A lot of people don't realize antelope grow their horns in the winter, so a lot of it has to do with the winter, spring and winter conditions, and it looks like they had a pretty pretty easy winter and good spring. One of the keys we just have to, you know, kind of get this done because we're getting to the end of October and they're starting to lose their caps. We've run across three or four in the last couple days with slip caps. I mean, nice goats too, but yeah, don't really want to shoot one with only one side. So. No. there's. That big bunch over there, there's a pretty good buck in there. It's only got one horn, so big bucks tend to strip them first. They'll walk over, I watch them do it. They'll walk over to a fence, put it in the fence and pop it off because it gets itchy. So usually by Halloween, you better get it done. First week of November, they're pretty much all stripped. Well, we've got a pretty good idea what's out here, Rod. Let's keep on keeping on. Pretty hot dough there somewhere.
hammered him. Shoulder? I think so. His shoulder. It's going down. It's well, that was stuck. intense. Yeah. Just stalked one, just walked right at him. I think the sun was at her, on her back and they couldn't really see what was going on. I don't think they wanted to leave this valley. It's 27th of October. I think yesterday we looked at, I don't know, three, 400 head antelope and I bet you there was, oh, probably looked at 30, 40 bucks. And I bet four or five of them had already slipped a cap. So that's usually the bigger ones first. So we figured we better get one on the deck. Let's go look at him and see what he is. And Rod made a fantastic shot putting the big buck down quickly. Well, folks, we got him dead. Took us a while. Took us about 45 minutes, an hour. We kind of followed him along 450 yards. One shot through the shoulder and lungs. And here he is. He's really an old antelope. Uh, missing a bunch of teeth. Probably wouldn't have made it through the winter. You can tell he's just heavy and bladed and just an old warrior. So that's kind of we like to kill out, you know, out here and, and uh, save those young antelope, let them grow up. And Montana's starting to cut some more tags loose now. Uh, we got through those bad winters, the nine and 10 and 10 and 11. And these antelope are really coming back strong, especially in the Southeast part of the state. And we can produce antelope like this now, so. Uh, an antelope hunt is it's one of my favorite hunts to go on. Now it's my turn to see if I can seal the deal on a big Montana buck of my own. With lots of nice antelope roaming the prairie this year, it will be interesting to see what we can turn up. He's uh, bucks down, finally. <laughs> that was uh, quite a stock. And I think this fence right here is their, the difference in the territories between those two bucks. He's down and out, let's go take a look at him. This is uh, Montana, Eastern Montana. The antelope are coming back here and we've seen some really good ones. You know, I finally got a tag. I think I had five preference points before they finally gave me another tag. So let's go take a look at him. Man, look at the prongs on that dude. What a buck. It does not get any better than that. I mean, Eastern Montana, that is a really nice buck. You know, when we're looking at antelope, this is what we're looking for is that mass and that prong. He's got good mass above the digger, which means they had a good, you know, good winter and spring. Big diggers, good spring and early summer, and the bases are pretty good. I mean, I know it did dry out here 
in the summer, but you know, he obviously found some, some good feed. I can see his prongs turn in, man. I bet he's got over five inch prongs, maybe almost six inches. He's really busted off on his tips, pretty good bases, just a really nice 80 inch goat. I think he's right in that 80, 80, 81 range. I mean, just, you can't expect any better. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game.